from Hokkaido performing uh, for a viola festival. So I was one of the only cellists there uh, accompanying violists and playing a lot of chamber music. Um, there was a lot of snow. There was a lot of sushi. Um, there was a lot of really intense practicing going on. A lot of violists playing Baroque music and Romantic music. Really, really talented musicians. So if I were to compose a piece, a 10 second piece, um, that kind of summed up my experience there, I think it would uh, incorporate those elements. Let's see. So snow, Baroque music, maybe some sushi. <laughs> Blonde Redhead is a show that I'm really looking forward to. Um, I am lucky enough now to be able to choose gigs that I think are really, really fun. Um, because most of the time I do play straight up classical or avant-garde new classical, or I'm sitting at home by myself writing music for days at a time. Um, so when a gig comes up like Blonde Redhead, of course I'm going to say yes. And uh, I think it's going to be in Boston, just a four hour drive from New York. And I have a bunch of friends who have been on tour with them for a while, and they've just asked me to join them for this show. Um, and playing with bands like Blonde Redhead, any art rock, punk, pop, jazz, whatever band, just makes me feel better as a musician and I welcome any kind of opportunity to get me out of my bubble. Um, and I think that experiences like playing with Blonde Redhead actually inform my interpretation of my own music um, by sort of helping me to achieve my lifelong goal of being a well-rounded musician. When I'm composing music, um, I get asked a lot if I'm, uh, if I write it out or if I play it first. These days, if I can, if I'm writing for instruments that I can sort of play, I always play it out first. And it was kind of a journey the last four or five years um, going from writing music out partially and playing out ideas partially to just 100% playing things out as they uh, occur to me. So this has kind of affected my style of music and uh, I think I'm a little bit more free these days as a composer. Um, for example, the last string quartet I wrote called Lift uh, it was a 26, 27 minute piece, and the way I wrote that was um, all by playing. So I learned how to play violin and viola upright on my lap, like this, like a mini cello. And I just went to town. I recorded just tens of hours worth of music and like layering on top of that. It's just so much. I think uh, my friends would tell me that the most unusual aspect of my creative process is the fact that I'm playing all of the instruments myself when I compose a piece. Uh, so they'll, I'll send them a recording of a string quartet that I've played myself, and they'll say, wow, these fake instruments sound really good. Like, what kind of software is this? Or they'll say, who did you hire to record this music? You know, it's even rehearsed by a real group. And I tell them, no, that's me. I'm playing the violin and the viola in my lap. 
and it kind of blows their minds a little bit. So I think that's the most unusual part. When people ask me why anybody should support classical music, there are so many personal answers. But having been born and raised in South Orange County, and having left South Orange County to pursue a career uh, first in Los Angeles and now in New York, I realize people think of classical music as just kind of pleasant, baroque, like Vivaldi on the radio in the background. Um, and it's so much deeper and so much more important and affecting and uh, meaningful than that. There are composers like me, a lot of my friends in New York, who are creating really, really special music now. Um, these are not just living composers, they're in their teens, 20s, 30s, creating really mind-blowing stuff, and that is classical music. I, for one, am trying to bring some more of that to South Orange County. Uh, this is my first performance in the area for years, um, so it's really exciting. And I think it's up to the community as a whole to kind of just be aware of what's out there and to search for it and to teach it and to embrace it and to learn about it because classical music is not just Vivaldi on the radio, it's, it can change your life.